Hi there, my name is Gareth Morgan from the Technical Solutions Team here at the Know How Contact Centre in Sheffield and today I'm going to talk to you about wireless printers. We're going to go through connecting your wireless printer to your wireless network, then how to connect your computer to your printer and then how to print. So, without any further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is connect our printer to the wireless network. We can tell by the flashing wireless indicator light here that this printer is ready to connect to a network. Different printer manufacturers and different printers by the same manufacturer all have slightly different control panels. On this particular printer we've got two options to get to the wireless network settings. We can either press the wireless button here and then choose settings or something that's a bit more universal for most printers is we go to tools and then wireless. If our router had a WPS button on it we could then use the Wi-Fi protected setup mode in order to connect quite easily, we'd simply press the WPS button on the router and then choose the Wi-Fi protected setup button here to automatically connect. But not all routers have that, so I'm going to walk you through the wireless setup wizard, which is this option here. This will then start looking for any networks in range. And once it's finished, it will come up with a list of different networks. As you can see it has done now. Now if you're not sure of your network name what you can do is look on the back of your router and there will be a sticker that says either network name or SSID and that will give you your network name. The SSID is the network name. In this case it's found our network as the top option so I'm going to click on TST Wi-Fi and then it's going to ask us to enter the password. So I'm just going to touch this button here in order to enter the password. Now again, if you're not sure of what your password is, it will be on the back of your router, typically right underneath where it says network name or SSID, and it will call it network password, network key, Wi-Fi password, wireless key, something along those lines. You can see that it's defaulted the letters to be lowercase. It's worth bearing in mind that wireless keys are always case sensitive so if you needed to change it to uppercase you'd use this button, this button for numbers, this button for symbols. In my situation all, all the letters are lowercase so I'm just going to go ahead and enter the password now. And once you've entered your password, click on done. If you've noticed any mistakes, you can use that button to go back and correct them. It's asking me to confirm my settings. So if I wasn't quite sure what I'd typed, I could click show password. In this case, I'm going to click OK to get to the next screen. And this then attempts to connect to the network. Assuming that we've all entered everything correctly, then this will go through perfectly. If not, it'll come up with a message saying incorrect password and prompt us to re-enter it. Okay, now we can see that I got the password correct and that we're successfully connected to the network. If we wanted to print off the network settings, we could choose print here. Um, I'm just going to click OK to get onto the next screen. This shows us a wireless summary. So it tells us what our IP address is, what the network it's connected to is, or the useful information. Again, I can go into more settings, I could choose print or turn off, but since I'm now successfully connected to the network, as indicated by the blue solid blue light here, I'm just going to press the home button to go back to the home screen. So, now that we have our printer connected to the same wireless network as our computer, we now need to install the drivers so that the computer knows how to operate the printer. Now we can do this in one of two ways, we can either insert the disk that came with the printer, and run the installer from there, or if we no longer have the disk or we're installing it onto a different operating system than the disk is designed for, then we can download and install the drivers from the manufacturer's website. So that's the option that we're going to choose this time. So the first thing that we need to do is go onto the internet, and then once we're onto the internet, we then need to go to the printer manufacturer's website. Uh, now we can do this by going to the address bar and then typing out the address, which is what I'm going to do here or if you're not sure of the manufacturer's website address uh, just use the search uh, provider and type in 
the man manufacturer's name and support and press enter or search and then you'll find the information that you need. So in this case we're going to HP's website because it's a HP printer and once we're on there um, things will look pretty much the same for, for most websites things might be in different places for instance you might get the menu bar down the left hand side or something like that but in this instance we're going to click on support and then download drivers this will take us to the search page because the printer is a HP NV5532 we're going to search NV5532 here and we can either click go or hit return. Okay, so once it's done that, it brings up the searches that it's found. And in this case, it's brought up two printers. We're going to choose the bottom one. And it's automatically taken us to the software and drivers options here. So what we need to do, first of all, is confirm that this is the correct operating system. Um, it will almost always automatically decide that for you, but sometimes you may need to open the drop down box and select the correct operating system. In this case we are using Microsoft Windows 8.1 64-bit. And Then we click on next. We've got a few options from here. We've got two drivers. We've got the full features drivers here which would include everything that was on the disk and we've also got the basic drivers that are just the very basic print and scan drivers. We've also got options for ordering a CD diagnostic utilities or we can update the printer's firmware directly mm -hmm. but for now we're just going to download the all-in-one full feature soft phone drivers so this time it's brought up something that's asking us if you want to use the HP download and install assistant mm -hmm. um, this would be specific only to HP so in this case we're going to choose download only and then we're going to click on next so this is pretty much what you'd see for any other manufacturer. It's going to ask you if you want to run the driver download or if you want to save it. Mm -hmm. And in this case, we're going to choose run. Okay, so this download is now almost complete. Mm -hmm. It's worth bearing in mind that the full feature drivers take a lot longer to download than the very basic drivers. That's because they include a lot of additional software. So it, we wouldn't expect it to download as quickly. So if you're short on time or you're short on space then just choose the basic drivers um, as you can see once the download completed it's automatically started to run the installer so the first thing you need to do is extract these files and once the files are extracted it will move on to the installer proper so from here user account control switched on so we'll need to choose yes to allow the download to complete uh, while to start the program installing Okay, and now we need to check that our printer is turned on, which ours is. We need to check that it's connected to the wireless network, which it is. And we also need to ensure that paper is loaded, which it is. Okay, so once we know all that, we can then click on continue. These are the programs that come with the full feature software set. So from here, we're going to click on next. If you did want to change anything, we can click on customize selections tick and untick things that we do or don't want either way uh, whatever else you choose i'd recommend keeping the hp update checked we then need to review the license agreement click on next and this starts the installer proper running this process in itself can take around about five to ten minutes so just to let you know what's going to be happening here is it's going to be telling you which parts it is installing so that's what it says there at the top and then it's going to be installing the rest of it okay so because we want to connect it wirelessly as i'm sure you will at home we're going to tick the wireless box and then click on next and it's found our printer pretty much straight away so what we need to do next is click on it to select it and then click on next okay and from here we've got a choice of whether we want to activate the printer or not um, to do that we need to click continue online 
this will automatically open the HP website. If this is a brand new printer, then this is something that I recommend doing. For the moment though, we're not going to do this because it's already been activated. Choose close without activating. Activation is important if you want to use it with something like a Chromebook for example, where you need to use the ePrint options. Then ask us to register the product, that allows us to access more support options. Um, but for now, we're just going to close this page as well. We're going to close this page, so we're back to our desktop. Okay, so now that we've got our printer installed, we're now going to test it. To do that, we're just going to print a short document. So we're going to go into our documents folder, choose the document we want to print, go to file, go to print. In this case, we're going to choose quick print, and that should send the information to our printer. So I can see signs alive. You should be able to hear signs alive. And that's our document printed. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've now got your wireless printer happily connected to your network and you're quite happily printing from your computer to your printer. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to keep looking out for more videos. Bye.